Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm hoping you guys are all having a fantastic day. So today's upload is hopefully going to be a little bit quicker, um, but I doubt it because uh, there's just look at this, look at the map. This is the National Weather Service, the weather safety, uh, weather ready nation map, and look at this. Um, just absolutely ridiculous. Tornado watches across Oklahoma, Missouri, northwestern Arkansas, Texas, uh, s severe thunderstorm watches in Texas, flood warnings, flood watches, flash flood watches, flash flood warnings. I mean, absolutely ridiculous amounts. And let's just go right here. Here's here seems to be the hot spot. Look at that. We have tornado warnings, severe thunderstorm warnings, flash flood warnings, severe weather statement. Flood more. I'm just not going to go through all of that, but you get the point. Absolutely such a dynamic pattern. We, no, don't, I would say don't often see such a, a dynamic pattern occur, you know, frequently. We obviously do see this a couple of times a year, but when we do, it really could get pretty ugly. The rain amounts absolutely insane. Four or five inches in some areas still to come, while some areas have been already seen four or five inches. Uh, I know here in Chicago we have not been having the worst of the weather by any means, but it's <laughs> it's still pretty bad, so I can only imagine what's going on in the south where, you know, absolutely ridiculous tornado watches, tornado warnings, severe thunderstorm warnings are going on. So I just wanted to give you a quick update on this dynamic, crazy record-breaking pattern. Um, yes, and you may be wondering, what's record-breaking again? Yes, yes, they're definitely, I mean, we almost set a record for the greatest amount of, um, of, of rain in one, in one day, uh, for, uh, the specific April 30th. So let's go to, I wanted to click on this wet through, okay, so I want to show you if you live in a Chicago area, um, you could see, you have a flash flood watch, uh, five, to, uh, five, this is, I think, five hour, literally said, um, uh, no, so, uh, wait, okay, I don't know really what happened. Okay, never mind. So, I want to go back from this. Uh, how do I go back? Okay, so this is a five day. Okay, so five day rainfall. You can see the amounts are diminishing, but that's already because a lot happened. Uh, excessive rainfall outlook. Look at this. Uh, moderate. So, no, this is not severe weather. Don't get panicking, but this is moderate in terms of the flooding. Excessive rainfall outlook. We have moderate, which is 20 to 50 percent, which is, you know, fairly high. Um, I would say equivalent to a moderate in terms of severe weather. And look at this, this is just absolutely ridiculous. And this is a typical pattern for flooding. It's a typical setup. And you know what? You want to know why? So let me explain this. So there's a low, oh, that's a bad color. Let's pick a different color, shall we? Let's pick blue. So there's like a low uh, sit in summer. It doesn't have to be here, it could be here. Wherever it is, it's bringing up a lot of moisture. And, um, in this case, it's centered right across northern Missouri, and it is bringing up tons of moisture from the Gulf of Mexico, wrapping around like this, bringing up loads and loads of moisture. And the thing that, you know, really puts this over the edge over certain other systems in terms of flooding is the rain just continues going over the same area, over cluster after cluster after cluster after cluster. And this uh, produces a lot of rain to the north, lots of severe weather in the south, and tornadoes again in the south with damaging winds. So this is definitely a, a a very interesting setup, and there's a lot to take in. This isn't you know simple to uh, take in. Uh, if you like these type of videos, I should have probably mentioned this earlier, but if you like these type of videos, consider subscribing to this channel. Um, all you gotta do is just subscribe. I just typed in subscribe. It looks like this, the button. Click on subscribe button and subscribe to this channel. So consider doing that. Let's look at the her model, which is a high resolution, high resolution rapid refresh model, and it does a very good job in terms of this, uh, these events, uh, you know, better than most models, it still isn't perfect, but you can see a cluster just went through northern Illinois, and the thunderstorms are absolutely getting so fired up across Arkansas, Missouri, tornado watches, warnings, and uh, some snow to the north in Nebraska, South Dakota, but it's mainly, <coughs> sorry, it's mainly, oh, sorry about that, it's mainly the, the severe thunderstorm, severe thunderstorms or tornadoes that will be occurring with these storms and what's make this even what makes this even more dangerous is these aren't really squall lines they may form into squall lines later on but in the beginning stages you could see they're just these little tiny cells let me see if i could zoom in on this um let's go to where can we go south central united states you can see they're just these little cells and these are much more easily penetrated by wind from the actual system and upper levels of the atmosphere the middle you know the mid levels and low levels and this 
gets much more quickly spinning and there's spin and with the storm and obviously when there's spin it is more likely to produce a tornado since the ingredients are more likely to come together as we go on to the future you can see that it develops into more of a squall line and that still does not diminish the threat of severe weather tornadoes yes yeah, slightly but there's been definitely complete outbreaks of tornadoes that have occurred along squall lines it's just it's not as likely there isn't as favorable conditions, but no, severe weather and heavy rain is still a major threat, and you could see that a lot of this will continue to be pummeling um, the same areas that have been pummeled, and we're not quite done yet, and I know that may seem absolutely ridiculous, but if we go out to regions, let's just go to eastern United States, make this a more broad view, we look at, okay, so right now we have one main wave, to the north across uh, northern Illinois, we have the severe thunderstorms developing in the south, a uh, squalling almost in uh, northern central Kansas and the low is centered right here but you can see there's a lot of these little tiny um trying to develop lows and we see this again develop into squalling sending loads of moisture up into the north and this is uh you know the co continuing over the same areas I've been seeing a lot of rain and the, a lot of rain is still to come and we see uh, this does weaken so this is around let me say 8, 9, 10 o'clock tomorrow in the morning, you can see it has quieted down and we things, see things start firing up again. You can see Oklahoma right there, another line of potentially severe thunderstorms, another outbreak, and we start seeing things get active again across Missouri. You may be thinking, well, maybe it'll just be confined to the south. Well, this will still erupt into a second hall wave that will impact your Thursday. But let's for, for now, let's just look at the total accumulated precip and you can see they're going to be rather high. Many locations in the blue or, uh, or higher shade that's above half an inch. It may not seem like a lot, but these many of these areas have been absolutely saturated by rain, so even a fourth of an inch would be able to produce flooding. But also these purples, that's anywhere over two inches. And keep in mind, there's still a second wave coming after this. Um, you can see the NAM is more vigorous with that and shows a second wave. So let me just go to the radar or rain slash frozen. Let's show you this. So... Uh, this is what is, uh, okay, so that first wave passes through, you can see that's tonight, and into tomorrow that passes through, and then we see a second one organizing, you can see the low kind of right there, and that produces a little bit more rain, maybe not as much, but still keeps it rather wet and soggy for some of those locations, and again, does not take much rain to produce flooding when these areas have been seeing four, five, six inches of rain in the past couple of days. So I want to take you back to now this National Weather Service map, and let's just go through some of these things. So um, if you are living in northern uh, Oklahoma right now, southern Missouri, Kansas, um, definitely take care of yourself because these tornado warnings are getting issued all over the place. And you're not, um, you know, you may be thinking, oh, this can't happen to me, but I think, you know, yeah, always got to be prepared for the worst. That's what they say. So, uh, you can see a damaging tornado, half dollar size hail, and this is not just in general for Oklahoma, this is for a specific area, the tornado warning, so, um, these are gonna be isolated, so yes, just because he, you're seeing a, uh, severe thunderstorm watch doesn't mean the whole state is, but, um, you know, there's, there's a, uh, the more broad areas are like the tornado watches and the severe thunderstorm watches. Let's go to, uh, western Texas. And let's see what's going on over there. We have a severe thunderstorm watch, which basically means um, the risk for some potentially powerful severe thunderstorms with the risk of damaging winds, heavy rain, and torn and tornadoes, not really. Um, mainly damaging wind, large hail, and heavy rain is on the risk. So let's just, okay, this is not loading. Okay, so we ended up clicking on Norman, Oklahoma. Uh, okay, so this was issued at 3.59, and I think... Okay, so at this point it looks like if it's moderate. Okay, I want to quickly check this out because I don't know if the actual risk CPC, sorry, CP, CPS, um, not SPC. Okay, okay, yeah, so there is a severe moderate risk. So that's, you know, that's pretty high, pretty darn high. So, um, yeah, okay, th this literally just got updated a couple of hours ago or a couple of minutes ago. So, a categorical risk moderate, that means, uh, you know, widespread thunderstorms are likely severe thunderstorms are likely and you should definitely consider <laughs> taking shelter if you're under a winter a tornado warning or even a you know consider the possibility of taking shelter if you're under a watch tornado watch or a severe thunderstorm watch so the video is going to pause right now
and I think we are back in. Okay, so uh, yeah, I basically just wanted to leave it at that. You can see uh, if you want to check out your area, if you live in Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma, Illinois, any any of this area that is under the moderate or even an enhanced or slight, go type in just CPC. Just see this, see this link right here. Um, type that in. Um, just type in CPC and it'll take you to this website as you saw I did. And you could look over your area. There's mesoscale discussions and it talks about what's to accept, what to expect and when this should end, when this should begin. So very good website to look at that. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Consider liking the video. Consider subscribing to this channel. And I'll catch you all guys in the next episode. See ya. Bye.